four wheel drum, four wheel disc, or disc front, drum rear. Which one's better? Let's find out. Today's gonna be a fun day. Good morning. My dad's coming over with his 47 2A, and we're gonna pull it in the shop here and do a brake upgrade on it. His Jeep is completely stock, everything, and we're gonna add some disc brakes to the front axle. I'm gonna use some Dana 30 parts that I have laying around, and then we're gonna do some brake testing. That's more what this video is gonna be about because I have a million videos on how to do the disc brake kit swap thing. So we're gonna test them. We're going to uh, test his Jeep before we start working on it. So nine inch drums all around, stock master cylinder, stock everything. Then we'll test it again with just disc up front with the uh, drum still in the back. That's the setup he wants, which should work fine. And then we'll put it up against one of my Jeeps that is four wheel disc brakes. So we'll do uh, 35 mile an hour panic stop tests and measure the distance and see how much difference it actually makes. Before we pull the drums off this Jeep, let's do a control run with stock drums. So it's a completely stock brake system on a 47 2A. Let's see how it does. We got the Jeep in the shop. Lots of Jeeps in the shop today. It's freezing cold. It was 95 three days ago. And now it's, it's cold, isn't it? It's like uh, 38 or 40 out, flurries and wind. and. But we're going to work on disc brakes on this Jeep. We're going to start today by taking the residual valve out of the master cylinder. And then this Jeep has stock 9-inch drums. We're going to swap them out for some Dana 30 disc brakes. Um, I'll put links in the description to another video I have covering that. So this video isn't going to be about the tech side of this. We want to get results on how well it stops. <laughs> We have the disc brakes on now. Now we're gonna do the test again. We did the drum brake test this morning and I was shocked at how good it actually stopped with a panic stop. 35 miles an hour and I'm gonna start braking at that pole. We did two drum brake test runs. My best one was there at that blue line. And my first trial run I didn't hit it as hard and it was at that line for the front tire. So now we're gonna do it again with a disc brake. And I'm a little scared. I think the drum is going to do really well against the disc brake. I don't know how I could possibly stop that much slower or faster. But anyway, let's do it. 35 miles an hour. Let's start braking at that pole and we'll see where it lands. All right, disc brake stopped better. That was impressive. some marks so you can see here I started breaking at the pole and the front tire we have it marked in green a different color was like just past the pole I did think I do think I started breaking a tiny bit early but I'll try to do I'll try to do the same with the other Jeep now up next we're gonna do the rotary Jeep which is four-wheel disc brake with a dual master cylinder I have my assistant here so that's drum brake that's f disc on the front only. I don't know if I can beat that. That's a pretty good score. I'm going to start braking a tiny bit early just like I did on that one and we'll see what happens. That was four wheel disc, dual master with NDG tires and it was about a foot longer and it did go sideways a little more than the we should mention that his jeep has radial tires so but very close i'll show you the lines we'll measure it off here in a minute um, so we only have one more test to do this will be our final test this will uh, this jeep has four wheel disc brakes with a single single line master cylinder and it does have a rear proportioning valve which the other jeep didn't so that we'll see if that makes a difference and this is uh firestone ndt tires so same test, 35 miles an hour, panic stop at the pole, and see what happens. That was the final test. 
Um, that one felt the best. It's hard for me to, I'm not stopping consistently at the same spot. So I do think I jumped a little bit, but we're gonna use the wheel. I'm gonna guesstimate the best, to the best of my abilities, where I'm stopping. And uh, we'll put the results up on the screen here in a second. I don't know if you can see, these are our three disc brake tests, and down there the blue lines are our two drum brake tests. So, um, huge difference. If a deer or a kid jumps out in front of you, they're dead. <laughs> they might not be dead. So, uh, pretty impressive. The three different disc brake setups we had had very little effect on performance. The drum, on the other hand, it was a big difference. The results are in. Blue Jeep comes out on top. So as far as all the tests we did today for your wheelies, if you want it to stop the best, even with NDT tires on, the NDT tires won in this competition. Uh, you need four wheel disc brakes, single line master cylinder with a proportioning valve and NDT tires. That was the best. Second best, surprisingly, was drum in the rear, disc up front, and no proportioning valve. That was our second best test. And then uh, very close behind that, could have just been a difference in when I started stopping. I mean, this isn't that scientific. Was four wheel disc brake, dual master cylinder with no proportioning valve. And uh, drum brakes were the worst, which I'm kind of glad because I would have been pretty bummed if we go through all this time and effort and money and drum stopped better. But uh, if a puppy jumped out a, off a curb and you had drum brakes, it's dead. With disc brakes, it has a better chance. I went with 35 miles an hour because my Jeeps are modified, but I think for most people, even with the modified engines, 35 is where I usually cruise at on most roads. And that's a pretty common speed where you might have someone turning out in front of you or um, you know, an animal or whatever. So uh, thank you for watching and let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, there are variables here. The driver being the biggest one because, you know, I'm not a pro, but uh, I hope the findings are helpful and you enjoy this video. Catch you later.